and we like hold off just enough time between today and tomorrow's first alert weather day to get the party in. Mm, not without rain, I think. Yeah. yeah, that's the problem is that is it going to be very difficult to time this rain out? I would just prepare for off and on rain through the day. We it started yesterday and it really only turned off a little bit during the overnight hours and the rain is right back with us. So you can see where the rain is now. I'll get this in a little bit closer and much of Gaston, Cleveland uh, up into uh, Lincoln, Catawba, much of Mecklenburg's covered with rain. Now again, a lot of this may be light, but you're going to need the windshield wipers. If you're standing out at the bus stop this morning, you're going to get wet. And again, if you're driving, you're either going to be in rain or on wet streets. And there's a big cluster here south of Rock Hill that's heading right over towards 21 and Van Wack. So again, just be mindful there is rain in the forecast and here's why I say it's difficult to time out because look at all these clusters of showers, mostly showers, some thunderstorms, but it's mostly showers and they just continue to point right up in our direction. So there may be times where we get a break or two for an hour or so, but there are going to be other times where the rain is with us. High temperature normally would be in the mid 70s. Forget that we couldn't get out of the upper 50s yesterday. Today, I might be optimistic here, low 60s. The clouds for sure will be with us throughout the day and the rain chances will remain elevated as well. So grab the rain gear. Now our rain chances actually go up tonight. I think the rain coverage becomes more widespread and intense tonight and tomorrow morning and then it drops for tomorrow afternoon and most of the day Saturday. So here comes a warm front tonight. That's going to bring a lot of heavy rain, maybe an inch or so in spots, and then that cool front will come through Friday. Just a small chance for a shower storm on Friday. We're dry on Saturday. This is the next front for Sunday. That's our next first alert weather day for today. We're again tracking rain this morning, so let's time this out. You're 7 o'clock out the door here for work school. You're going to be in rain. 4 o'clock this afternoon, the rain continues. Then it really, as I say, watch how the coverage and intensity picks up tonight. That's why I'm concerned for big downpours overnight. Now, if there's any good news in this, by tomorrow morning, a lot of this may be lifting northward, and we may only have to deal with a couple of thunderstorms tomorrow afternoon, mainly north of Charlotte, but one or two of these could be strong, then most of Saturday is rain free before another round of rain returns on Sunday. So if you're picking days for the weekend and you've got outdoor activities planned, try Saturday. I think that's going to be a much nicer day near 80, low 70s, more rain in the Sunday forecast. Here's your seven day forecast, and I, I know this is busy, so I'm going to break it down. 62 for today, more rain, about a 70% chance. Most active overnight and early in the morning Friday, then maybe late in the day we get a few more storms. Dry and warm. There's your pick for Saturday. Sunday, more showers and storms. It's cool but dry next week. All right, let's check in with Becca right now. First alert traffic, get you out on the roads.